and stuff down the outer rim and it looks kind of cool I like it I like how it's coming out I mean I know it kind of sticks out here on the beach a little bit but it's gonna be a nice big building for all of our vaults and crafting area and stuff like that um, maybe we can even do a little bit of an extension over here Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Scuba Steve, and thanks for diving into my channel. Hey, I just want to take a second to thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting me and all the good, great comments I've been getting lately. I do apologize for some of the videos I have posted in the last few days. Um, it's been a little eerie with my recording software. For some reason, it's been getting corrupted, so I had to actually delete a few of the videos that I have recorded previously to this one because they just I don't know what happened with the coding or something they just got messed up but anyways off to another beautiful day in Ark um, as you can see I've gotten a few things done since our last episode and guess what got rid of the red at least with the leather it just doesn't look good and what the heck just flew by my face whoa what that's weird anyways yes I like my coloring it looks good I love it Anyways, we're blue, black, and white. It's awesome. My favorite colors. Minus red. But blue is one of my favorite colors anyways. But anyways, enough rambling. The spot is coming along very nicely. We get out of camo here and get on our Terra. We got a few things planned for today. Main thing though is the basic building for the beginnings of our base, which is going to start down here. I kind of was messing around with it a little bit. I got a few foundations on it. This is the high point of this area um, which is basically going to be like our storage and crafting area up here is going to be like our main house up here but once we get the storage and crafting area done we can get rid of this basic building thing a bob that we got going on here and then we can start moving up in the world of progression in our wonderful game of arc um, I did do a little things off camera I placed these walls because I had a couple of dinos die on me when I had our semi egg farm going over here a couple of carnos came in and I th some dillos just just a bunch of different predators and I and it wasn't good and I didn't like it and let me gam up just a little bit there we go um, so I basically built this and it looks kinda nice I like it kinda like separates the the river like it's a private lagoon and I didn't kill off any of the koi I I don't really need to. There's plenty of different animals that we can basically get meat off of and stuff up and down the beaches here, so that's not too bad. And I got this this pteranodon. I know I didn't have it in the last episode, and I, I kind of wish I would have gotten it on, on camera, but it was kind of like I was out gathering, and it was stuck in a tree. And I didn't have a chance to be able to record it, so and I needed a flying mount anyway since I had just hit level 35 and had, was able to learn the saddle. So it works. Meet Blender. Say hi, Blender. Yep. Good talk. Anyways, so we're going up here over to our egg farm that we also did off camera. Just just basic things, um, just to be able to get some eggs. Let's go see if we have any eggs. And this oviraptor, as I was building, kind of ran in here. And I said, well, you know what? I'm just gonna tame it since it's already trapped inside. Anyways, so there was a couple things I didn't do off camera. Obviously, I'm not gonna tame the 10,000, not 10,000, but the Dillos and Dodo tames, because it's just kind of pointless, because they're like level 4s, 5s, 10s, and really low level, something that I'll tame up really fast. Same thing with the turtles and the parasaurs over here, but it doesn't look like we actually got anything, or any fruits of our labor, unfortunately. Oh, thanks, Parasaur. Appreciate that. Had a poop bomb us on camera. Awesome. Anyways, so we ain't got nothing going on over here. I, eventually, I will move it back over to closer to our base but for right now that works until I can figure out a way that I want to do it right here along this beach line um, yeah lots of things to do anyways uh, off to our basic oh, let me game up a little bit more so now that's dark there we go that's a little bit better we're basically going to be building this and I think inside here we did make some Oh, and I also got another little friend. Meet George, everybody. Say hi, George. Yes, I got George when I was getting Jane out here. 
as you know in the previous the last video I upload or one of the videos I uploaded recently previously to this we had another Jane on another server which was also a gigantic hairy woman anyways back on track yes we got Jane here she's awesome she's a good berry collector a good defender uh, gigantos are really powerful you know it's been a while since I tamed one and yeah minus the stupid hat on your head and you yeah you're ugly anyways <laughs> uh, in here I believe maybe it's out no nope, no nope, I believe it's in this one nope not this one that's wood I'm very disorganized I really need to <laughs> to build this darn thing okay here we go take half of those put that there now I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to fit any more foundations I think that was the issue the other day when I was messing around with this and yes I was correct so basically what we're gonna end up having to do is build a bunch of roofs and pillars which I totally forgot to do while well, I am not prepared for this episode I apologize peeps I really do alright so let me go build this stuff and I will be right back guys Alright guys, after a few hours of intense labor and gathering and poor Sarah's tuckered out over there from helping me carry all this crap around, but I've got a bunch of stuff crafted up now. Holy crap. A few repairs of my... Oh, by the way, I got this apprentice metal hatchet off of a nice blue drop. It was amazing. Didn't expect that one, but it was a good upgrade. Just need to get a better pick. Anyways... So we got a bunch of stuff done, so let's start with uh, replacing a few of the... I thought I needed more, but I guess I only needed three. That's what I get for not counting this stuff before doing it, but that's okay. So we're going to replace this. I was going to do wood, but I think just stone would look better, because you know we're on a stone rock, and it won't take away from the natural aspect of it, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, so we're going to take some of these cement pillars, throw these back in here. Actually, we can throw all this junk in here as well, because we don't need it right now. Um, let's see here. We got some stone ceilings, so throw some of those, some of those. Probably take some of those off. There we go, and there we go. All right. Let's get a building. So we're going to come out like this. I want to try to get it to where we can oh perfect because we can't go that way but at least maybe we can go that way I hope because I want to try to get it to where this is like a natural walkway up alright so that's about as far as it's gonna go so maybe when once we build off of here we can have a ramp go down to there so that should be fine for now all right, so get a pillar. There's gonna be lots of pillars, lots of different amazing things off of this that we're gonna have going on here. It's gonna look glorious once we're done, in my opinion. In my head, it looks glorious. In real life, who knows? <laughs> this is Ark. Sometimes things just don't happen the way we want them to. I think I can come out here like so. Awesome, perfect. All right, just like I thought. So I'm thinking, let's get the range. I think that's gonna be good. That's gonna stick out at that side. So I think let's demolish that. Put that right there. And I believe we should be able to demolish that. Yep, cool, without it messing anything up. Awesome. Come up here. There we go. Now, this will probably go off a little bit, but that's fine. Because all of our vaults and stuff are going to be out here. And I think this way... Yeah, see, that's as far as I want to go out this way. Because I kind of want to do like a wooden thing off of this. So it's kind of like an over uh, overlook. Kind of like a, a, a porch, if you say, if you may, say, may, hey. <laughs> Anyways, 
Um, oh, yep, requires support. So put a support. Nope. Wrong button, damn it. There. And then. There. Alright, I'm gonna get some of this building done, guys, and then I'll bring you guys back when it's some progress done, okay? See you in a bit. Alright, guys, a little progress update here. We got the basic foundation down. Now, I believe. It's all, they're almost too wide, but this is going to be like a little wraparound porch like I was saying. Um, I might go out one more. I'm not exactly sure because I don't think some of them will support it and some of them won't. So like I think on these ones we're going to have to have pillars going down. Hmm. Man, that would still be kind of cool, I think, in my personal opinion. Let's see if we can go do it down this way. Okay, not all of them. Yeah, see, only now with the ones with the pillars on them. And this is where basically we would have our hatch going down into there. So we'd have to destroy that. Alright guys, let me, uh, I think I'm going to go too wide at least on this side. And think only... I may go. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do two wild all around. So let me go do. Let me go finish off this porch real quick, and then I'll be. I'll bring you guys back into the progress. All right. See y'all in a bit. Hey guys, bringing you back for a little progress update. So I got the basically the um, porch and stuff down the outer rim, and it looks kind of cool. I like it. I like how it's coming out. I mean, I know it kind of sticks out here on the beach a little bit, but it's gonna be a nice big building for all of our vaults and crafting area and stuff like that. Um, maybe we can even do a little bit of an extension over here, I'm thinking. Maybe. For some of our d dinos. And maybe we'll even do a bridge, who knows. Um, that's for another day. But right now at least we got this going on. So now we can at least do the walls, I would say, yeah. And I believe we got some of those already made up in here. Yes, we do. Um, I'm a little overburdened, I guess. Throws that in there. There we go. All right, so oh, we're going to need some. Actually, let's take about half of those and half of those. All right. So I think I'm going to want to have, because this is going to be an entrance. So I'm thinking this can be, hmm, it's so hard without the vaults being here, but these can always get changed out too, so we'll kind of have an entrance right there, because it's going to be two stone high on the bottom, and then wood above that. Kind of like how I was doing on Seb the Gamers server that kind of style wooden stone mixture um, let's go do this all right looking good maybe another entrance out here perfect all right it's coming along nicely guys coming along nicely Alright, so let me finish up this two layer and I'll bring you guys back for a progress update. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, in progress update again, guess what? We got all the walls and stuff put in. I believe the vaults are like a little over three high, so I made the, the walls four high. Now this is a massive structure. Um, as you can, I think we got to dump all this stuff in our inventory here. Uh, I've had to build and stuff. It's been quite a few hours because uh, <laughs> I obviously needed more than I thought I did. Um, not too much more, but it was enough. But this is right now our structure with no roof. But you know what? It works. And it's amazing. And I love it. We just need to make some railings and do some finishing touches and do some doors and make a whole crap ton of... Uh, boxes for now until we get up into the I believe it's level 80 for the vaults 
Um, 65. So once we reach 65, we'll be able to get the vaults, which we're, we're quite a few. Oh, we got a level. No, I think to run it on. I think Blender here has got a level. Blender does have a level. We'll pump that movement speed up a little bit. Um, you know, so once we get that up and done, then, yeah, pretty much. So I think that's all the time we have for today, guys. I appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me and Blender here and Sarah and the gang over here in our little di our little blue lagoon area it's freaking amazing I love it it's just so beautiful and serene you know I could just sit out here on my bench up here you know all day from my chair go fishing you know I really wish they would incorporate fishing in arc that would be amazing but anyways back on topic um, you know I, I really appreciate y'all coming out here and hanging out with us and I hope you all had a good time uh, Thanks for checking out my channel and checking out this video. Let me gam up here for the outro. <laughs> there we go. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the content that I provide, hey, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel for all kinds of ARC stuff and other videos. I had some Fallout videos as well uh, that I was going to post. But yeah, like I said, my recording software, I guess, corrupted a lot of my videos, so I had to dump them. However, more to come. Just got to redo it. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, thanks again, once again, for coming out, hanging out with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That, my name's Scuba Steve, and peace out.